In this video, we would see what is a file descriptor in Linux, how to fix the issue of too many open files in Linux, and how to set the open file descriptor limit in Linux. Let us start. What is a file descriptor in Linux? Whenever any process is created in Linux, it will maintain a file descriptor table. So this table contains the file descriptor entries. Each entry in the table will uniquely identify a open file for a particular process. That means if any process opens a file, it will append an entry to the file descriptor table. So in the table, we can see 0, 1 and 2. So these are by default assigned to standard input, standard output and standard error. After that, whenever any new file is opened, then corresponding file descriptor entry will be added to file descriptor table. In the diagram, we also can see file table, inode table and data blocks. So each entry in the file descriptor table will corresponding to a file entry in the file table. And that internally points to a corresponding inode entry in the inode table, which will internally point to actual data in the disk. So if you want to learn more about inode, please follow the link in the description. But for this video, we have to understand that file descriptor is a unique identifier which represents a open file for a particular process in Linux. Now we know what is a file descriptor. Let us view this in a demo. This is a Linux terminal. Here I have an example to directory. In this directory, we don't have any files. So let me create a sample Python program that will create some files in this directory. So let me open test.python. So using this program, I'll try to create some files in the example to directory. So for that, uh, let me create a sample files list. So this is an empty list as of now. So now we'll try to create 20 files. For that, I am using a for loop. I have to specify range 20 here. Now let us open the files for writing. So for that I am using a open function to specify the file name. The file name will be the file starting with file and it will include this i identifier .txt. So that means each of the file name will be file1.txt, file2.txt etc. And we have to open these files for writing. So I have to provide more for writing. Here we are trying to open 20 files for writing and all those 20 file objects will be appended to files list. Now for each of these file objects, we will write hello string. We have to use write method. We also can show the file descriptor for every file we open here. So for that there is a method called file number. So here we can use file number. So in this program what we are doing, we are trying to create 20 files for writing. And in each of the file, we are writing hello string and we also print the file descriptor for each of the files we open. So let me close this and execute. Now we can see all the 20 files are created. And also we can see that the file descriptors are printed starting from 3 because by default 0, 1, and 2 are assigned to standard input, standard output, and standard error file descriptors. That means for all these files, file descriptors are appended to the file descriptor table starting from 3 and up to 22. So total 20 descriptors are allocated. Now let us try to change the program to create 2000 files instead of 20 files. So for that let me change the script. Here I will provide 2000. So here we are trying to create 2000 files instead of 20. So let me execute the script now. So from the output we can see that it is displaying an error too many open files. That means it has not created 2000 files. It has stopped after 10023. That means there is a limit for the number of open files. So how can we see the limit of number of open files? So we can use a command called ulimit hyphen m. Now using this we can see that there are 102 file maximum number of open files which can be created for this user for this session. Now, when any process opens the files which crosses this limit, then it will throw the error too many open files. So now we understood the problem of too many open files. How do we fix this issue? There are two methods in which we can solve this issue. So in the first method, we have to check the application or the problem in which we open the files. So we have to find where are we closing the files after processing of those files. So if you are not closing the files properly, then we may get this too many open files issue. 
so in this program let me open the python file again so here after printing the hello and after printing the file descriptor we are not closing the file so let us try to close the file now so here we are closing every object after writing hello and after printing the file descriptor so let me save this and execute the program again so now in the output it is printing the single file descriptor for every file this is because after using this file descriptor we are closing the file so that means whenever we close the file corresponding entry will be removed from the file descriptor table so the next time it will open the file then it will use the same file descriptor so that is the reason it is using the same file descriptor for every file so now we did not get any issue of too many open files now we also should be able to see all the files created so here we can check that we have all the 2000 files created so this is one way we can solve the issue by closing the files properly in our application programs but in enterprise applications when we deploy larger applications like java applications in servers like weblogic websphere etc so the processes will need more number of open files so in that case we need to check whether we can increase the limits from the operating system level so how can we set these limits in the operating system level so in linux there are two types of open file or descriptor limit types there is a hard limit and there is a soft limit so hard limit is the maximum value that is allowed for the soft limit that means whenever we set the hard limit the soft limit cannot have the value more than the hard limit and this hard limit will be set by the root users and this soft limit can also set by non root users as well so while setting the limits we have four levels we can set at user session level and the user level service level and the system level so let us see in the demo what is this hard and soft limits and how can we set the limits at various levels so now i will try to log in with the test user 2 which is a non privileged user so for this user we will try to verify the u limit so here it has the maximum value of 1024 so that means the processes created with this user cannot open the files more than 1024 at a time so now if you want to change the open file limit in the user session level we have to use the u limit command so for that i will use u limit and we have to specify the soft limit and end if i give 900 then it will change to 900 now we can find what is the limit for this session so that is 900 so this way we can reduce or increase the soft limit but this soft limit cannot increase more than 1024 for example if i try to increase the soft limit more than 1024 for example 1100 now it should throw me an error now we can see that it is not allowing me to modify the limit it is saying invalid argument so in this way we can change the soft limits at a user session level using u limit command so now if we want to set the hard and soft limits at user level then we have to log in with root user so let me exit from here so to change the limits i have to open etc security limits on file so in this file we can change the limits for a particular user so in the end i will add two new lines for test user 2 So for the user, I need to specify hard. Then I need to specify no file, and we have to specify the number of files here. So I will specify two thousand five hundred, and also I am specifying the soft limit for the same user with the same value. So now we have the hard and soft limits for this test user two user is two thousand five hundred. So now let me log in with test two user again. So let us verify the u limit now. now we can see the value of unlimit is 2500 so with this value of 2500 now we should be able to open 2000 files at a time so let us go back to our example 2 application so let me open the test file so in this program i will comment this line with close method even after commenting this line we should be able to open 2000 files at a time because this is less than 2500 which is our limit now so let me close this and execute again so from the output we can see that it has printed all the file descriptors up to 2002 so 0 1 2 are for standard input standard output and standard error now from the output we also should be able to see all the files created so this is the way how we can increase the hard and soft limit at a user level 
So there is another way we can set these limits at service level. So for example, if we have any service running in Linux as a systemd service, we can specify the limits at the systemd service level itself. For example, here I have a process called Nexus. So let me grab it. So this process runs as a systemd service. So if I go to etc systemd system directly, I have a service called Nexus. So if I open this Nexus service, so there is a parameter called limit no file. So I have already specified the number of open file limits for this service as 65,536. That means when we run this service, then the process created by this service will have the limit of 65,536. So this is another way we can specify the open file limits at service level. Now we have seen how to set the open file limit at user session level, user level and service level. So if you want to set the file limit at the operating system level, that means the limit of all the combined processes. So that indicates the total number of open files at a time can be opened by all the processes in the Linux operating system. So for that we have to go to prop file system and sys and fs. So in this fs directory, so we have a file called file max. So the content of this will indicate how many files can be opened by combining all processes. So the limit can be set by changing this content. So for changing this content, we have to open a file called etc sysctl.com. So in this file, we can set this limit. So I will give 4 lakhs. So let me save this file. So now to change the value of this file max content, we have to execute sysctl-p. It will show what is the value it has changed. So here, the file max parameter, we change it to 4 lakhs. So we can also verify it's the content of file max. So now file max is pointing to 4 lakhs. So this way we can set the file descriptor limit at operating system level. So in this video, we have seen what is a file descriptor and what is the problem of too many open files and we also have seen how to fix it. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.